There's been nearly 10 years of chaos in Libya. Almost constant fighting between rival militias since the removal of former leader Muammar Gaddafi has ruined the North African nation. If that wasn't enough, Libya is at risk of turning into a proxy war. Several countries are supporting opposing sides in the conflict. The notable exception is the United States. Four years ago, Donald Trump was elected on the promise to put America first. That included ending its wars abroad. Trump has also been accused of neither understanding nor showing interest in the region. His predecessor led a NATO air campaign in 2011 that helped to remove Gaddafi. But Barack Obama later admitted that not preparing for the aftermath of the war was the worst mistake of his presidency. The various tribes and armed groups that united against Gaddafi quickly turned on each other in a power vacuum. Trump may also be reluctant to intervene in Libya because of what happened in the city of Benghazi. In 2012, a militant group known as Ansar al-Sharia bombed a US consulate there, killing the ambassador. But America's lack of involvement may not be a lack of interest. Washington has learned from its ambassador in Libya that Russian weapons are being sent into Libya and that Moscow allegedly intends to build a military base there. Might that be enough to draw them in? And if so, could America's military might bring an end to the conflict? Or is there a risk the US will be dragged into another seemingly endless war? Haider Abbasi, The Newsmakers.